I have a new backpack. It is the framed through from Waymark. Is it any good? Stay tuned and find out. Hello friends, my name is Jeremy with Midwest Backpacker. I do a lot of backpacking, camping, outdoor adventures, and occasionally I do a gear video like this one. If you're into that type of thing, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. The Waymark through 40 liter backpack has been newly redesigned and they are now offering a framed version. I was looking for a backpack that was slightly smaller than my Light AF Curve 40. Now you may be saying they're both, both 40 liter backpacks. Well with Light AF, the 40 liter is just the main compartment and then they have another 15 liters on the front pocket and the side pockets. With Waymark, the 40 liter is the entire backpack. So on a medium sized backpack, uh, it's roughly about 31 liters on the main compartment and about nine other liters on the front pocket and the side pockets. So I have the XLL version, uh, which is the proper size for me. And that is roughly 32 liters on the inside and nine liters on the outside. So it is slightly smaller than that light AF pack. Waymark through total capacity varies by size. The medium large is 40 liters. The small medium is 38 liters. And like I said, I ordered the large extra large after measuring my torso at 21.75 inches. Check the Waymark website for the proper size for you based on your torso. So this pack is roughly seven liters smaller in the main compartment and 13 liters smaller overall from my light AF. So it's the perfect size for my new spring to fall backpack. Now the smaller backpack will most likely be my go-to backpack for late spring, summer, early fall trips. And the reason why I can't use it for uh, late fall through winter into early spring is up here in Minnesota it's cold. I have to carry uh, larger quilts and warmer clothes and there just isn't enough room in this backpack for me to do that. So I haven't had a chance to take it out on longer trips uh, and camp overnight with it because you know it's, it's, it's cold out right now. So what I've done is I've taken it out on a couple long hikes, uh, 10, 15 miles, hiking uh, eight hours with it at weight. So I typically have 25 pounds in my pack. I have the gear that I would carry on those trips that I would be using this pack with it at weight for extended periods of time and it has been really comfortable. It has uh, these padded shoulder uh, straps as well as the padded hip belt that's sewn on that really help carry the weight and have made it really comfortable and even after those long days, you know, my shoulders aren't sore and uh, my pack isn't giving me any discomfort. So why Waymark? Well, I've been seeing big YouTubers like Darwin on the trail who had Waymarks and liked them. And then all of my friends started getting Waymarks. And they seem to really like them. I went hiking this summer with my buddy Chuck, better known as The Mule. And he was wearing a Waymark and I got a chance to really study and look over his backpack. And it looked really awesome, so I decided to give my buddy Devin out in Utah, who works for Waymark, a call and uh, decided to order a backpack.
as much as I wanted to go frameless, my base weight on longer hikes is 15 pounds and with food and water, it's right around 25 pounds. So when I went to the Waymark website and studied what is the comfortable weight capacity of their packs, I decided to go with the new redesigned through with a frame. Now with that frame pack, it says that it can carry comfortably 30 to 35 pounds. Now if you wanna make your pack frameless and a little bit lighter, you can easily pull the aluminum stays out of the pack. An option that I really like that Waymark gives you is the front pocket material. You can choose from a heavy duty mesh like I ordered here, or you can order a four way stretch Lycra. Now most people will probably order the Lycra because it looks cooler. However, I had the Lycra on my light AF pack and I found it wasn't very durable. I snagged it and ripped several holes that I had to repair in it. Now my older pack, which was the Arc Hall from Z-Pack, had this heavy duty mesh and I really liked it and it was durable. So I was really happy that I could have that option once again with Waymark. So Waymark packs come in many different colors and materials. It comes in an X-Pack material and it comes in an Eco-Pack material. Now this is the Red Rock Eco-Pack material. Eco-Pack is made out of 100% recycled materials. Both the X-Pack and the Eco-Pack are waterproof. However, the seams are not taped or seam sealed. So if you're going when it's gonna be really wet out, you may want to use a pack liner or put the things that you want to stay dry in bags inside of your pack. The pack does come with two large side pockets that can hold two water bottles. It also comes with a Y strap that goes over the top to hold large capacity things like a bear canister, a chair, or in my case, a bag of chips. The shoulder straps have a daisy chain on them to allow you to hook things on like water bottles, cell phones. I also hook my Garmin and my tripod for shooting videos. It has an adjustable sternum strap and loops for trekking poles and for an ice ax. It also has a side compression cord that really allows you to cinch things up. And if you store taller things like tent poles in your side pockets, it helps secure them on the side of your pack. Overall, I have to say that this backpack is great. It has high quality materials and the craftsmanship is excellent. The uh, seams and the sewing look awesome. Now this backpack does weigh a little bit more than my light AF Curve 40. And I think that is mainly because this Eco-Pack material is heavier and thicker and weighs a little bit more than that lightweight DCF. But really that weight difference is minimal. Uh, this backpack carries the weight a lot better than that other pack I talked about. Uh, you know, I carried the 25 pounds in here all day long and my shoulders did not get sore once. So it's a little bit heavier, it carries the weight better, and this material and this heavy duty mesh, it's gonna be much more durable than that light AF pack. If you're in the market for a new backpack, I encourage you to check out Waymark. Now, if the 40 liter through is not the right size for you, they do offer other sizes. They offer a 28 liter, a 35 liter, and a larger 50 liter. I look forward to getting more time on the trail with this backpack. But like I said earlier, if you like backpacking, camping, 
outdoor adventure and occasional gear videos, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. Uh, I put out all sorts of photos on Instagram and Facebook. I also have some Midwest Backpacker merch available in Teespring. That's enough for today. I'm going to go out and enjoy this beautiful fall weather. And maybe someday I'll see you out on the trail.